Hey everyone, so it's day two. And so I put my hand in his cage just to see what he would do because he was already up. And I put a papaya treat in there. Fia K KT Fiesta Healthy Toppings, and I only put one of them. And he crawled up and took it right out of my hand. So I take that as a good sign. Um, so I have just a variety of treats for him. I have yogurt drops, I have sunflower seeds, another yogurt drop, um, and some nuts up there. So yeah, he's eating his food. Um, I think he's actually not that picky yet anyway, but I think I'm going to, oh, he's investigating what I put up there. I just want to see if he'll eat anything. We'll have to see in the morning, though. Oh, he likes the little nut thing in there. Does he like the yogurt thing? I don't know yet. You are so cute. So last night, he was being really, really cute. Um, he would crawl on top of the peanut hut and sit on top of there and, like, groom his face and stuff like that. He enjoys burying his food in, oh, you can see him in there, burying his food um, in his peanut hut. And over here, this is where he sleeps. He has, like, no food stashed up in here, but he has, like, he drags some care fresh over. And no, he didn't consume any, because the pieces he dragged over were so big. Oh, um, here he comes. So, yeah, there's Theodore. Um, his teaming's going really well. Um, he'll come up and, like, lick my fingers. And I wash, today I washed my hands because I was just, I just got done eating dinner. And he licked my hands and, like, my fingers. And then he ate the papaya treat. So I take that as a really good sign for his taming. So, yeah. You can tell he's being watched. So, I, so yeah, there's his cage. Oh, and I changed it a little bit. I put some tubes right there with fluff over them so he can crawl. Hey, little bud. Hi, Theodore. Hello, little Theo. I love his ears. I'm sorry, but his ear ears are so cute. I mean, I don't... I think it's just me, but I think he looks absolutely like a Theodore. Hi, bud. So, yeah. His, he, um... He's really picky with his food, so I think I'm going to take out one of the food dishes and just put, or like leave one of them empty just to see what he would do just for him to climb over and fill one of them with pellets and then I'll throw some stuff on top of that. There he is. Um, so here's how, kind of like the story and how I picked him out. Um, so there was three other hamsters. Well, he was the third hamster in the cage. And there was two pearls, and then there was him. And so one of the pearls that I picked out first had cuts on his nose. And my friend Tate Tails noticed that. Well, actually, we all kind of noticed it. I was just like, what's that on his nose? And Tate Tails goes, oh, it's just cuts. And so we put him back. Um, plus, he was just, he just wasn't. I don't know, like, he didn't, just didn't seem like one, you know? Um, and so, I picked up another, the other pearl, just to see, and he ran right out of my hands, jumped right out. I thought, oh, I don't want that hamster. And then I picked up him. Well, the, the like, the pet store owner picked him up, and, um, he, like, ran around in his hand, but he kind of, like, sat still on my hand. So I was just like, okay, I think I want to get him, because he is the cutest. He was the littlest. Oh, there he goes again. To investigate what's up. Oh, that's where I always put his treats. That's where I figure out if he first liked papaya treats. And then he loves going down. He loves crawling over the nature ball. <laughs> Alright, this is a really long video, but thanks for watching. Bye.